Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Starting from July 9, 2024, the United States will completely ban the technical services of local AI technology companies in China. This conflict point instantly ignited heated discussions in the science and technology circles of China and the United States. Well-known companies such as OpenAI are also on the ban list, which shocked many people. What unknown secrets are hidden behind this drama? The United States has to say that it has taken a ruthless approach to China's AI technology blockade this time. There are two main reasons. First, China has made a lot of money in the AI business which makes the United States very uncomfortable. It can be said that this piece of cake is too big and has been eaten too much, which has caused dissatisfaction in the United States. Secondly, the demand for AI technology in the Chinese market is astonishingly large, coupled with China's powerful industrial production chain. Such a combination of punches has made the United States a little restless. In fact, having said that, the cooperation between China and the United States in AI technology is not a day or two. The Chinese market has always been open to high tech, and capital has poured into this market like water, nourishing this fertile land of science and technology. American technology companies have long targeted this piece of fat meat and have reached cooperation projects with Chinese companies. AI technology is being used in full swing in China, from smart homes to industrial robots. However, all good things must come to an end. As China goes further and further in this field, the United States began to worry. How can this fat water always flow to the fields of outsiders? So this year, the United States simply gritted its teeth and decided to impose a blockade order on China. Speaking of China's attitude towards AI technology, it is really a bit eager for quick success. Faced with the blockade of the United States, China quickly took measures to step up research in the field of AI, fearing that it would be strangled by someone one day. China's speed of receiving technology is also amazingly fast. It can be used immediately and it will work immediately. It's like your neighbor Lao Wang took your seeds and planted better fruits and vegetables than yours, and the technology is better than the blue. After receiving AI technology, China immediately applied it to production and life and began to study similar products. It can be said that China's progress in the field of AI is obvious to all. AI technology has brought new vitality to China's industrial production chain. Once this technology enters China's industrial production, it is like giving wings to a tiger and it immediately flies. For example, in the manufacturing industry, AI technology has helped China realize automated production, improved production efficiency, and reduced costs. Another example is that in the logistics industry, AI technology has optimized logistics routes and improved distribution efficiency. There are countless examples, and AI technology has indeed promoted China's industrialization process. Let's take a chestnut. In a factory in the Pearl River Delta region, by introducing AI technology, the number of workers on the assembly line has been reduced from 100 to 10, but the output has increased by 30%. Isn't this the charm of modern technology? The United States sees it in its eyes and is anxious in its heart. How can you use such an efficient technology? 
This year, the United States finally made up its mind to block China's AI technology. American AI companies also cooperated with the government's actions for unknown reasons. Among them, political factors are definitely indispensable. This action is obviously a new round of countermeasures by the United States against China. The attitude of the United States has changed so quickly that it is a bit unprepared. Previously, these AI companies were scrambling to provide technical services to China, but now they have quickly turned to the opposite side because of their damaged interests. This change reminds people of the old saying, there are no eternal friends, only eternal interests. Faced with the tough attitude of the United States, China will naturally not sit idly by. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Commerce of China immediately stated that it would resolutely resist the economic and technological suppression of the United States. This is not only because of economic losses, but also because the actions of the United States have seriously affected the normal economic and trade cooperation between Chinese and American companies. China believes that this technological blockade is undoubtedly shooting itself in the foot. Technology is a product of globalization, and blockades will only hinder the development and progress of science and technology. China will continue to increase investment in the field of AI, innovate independently, and strive to occupy a place in the future technological competition. The U.S. Treasury Department also released a draft to restrict U.S. domestic industries from investing in China in three high-tech fields, artificial intelligence, semiconductors, and microelectronics, and quantum information technology. This is like building a high wall in the garden, enclosing advanced technology, and funds in its own territory, and not letting others in. This move not only affected the scientific and technological cooperation between China and the United States, but also attracted the attention of the global scientific and technological community. After all, technology has no borders, and blockades and restrictions will only make the development of technology difficult. The future of Sino-US relations is still full of uncertainty. To resolve this conflict, we need to wait for changes in the international situation. Perhaps in the near future, China and the United States can reach a new consensus again and jointly promote the development of science and technology. Before that, Various small-scale games can only be regarded as tentative actions. Only when the political situation is stable can a new direction be pointed out. I hope that the two countries can treat it rationally and jointly create a better future.